belly button bleeding causes bleeding from the belly button can occur for several several reasons most of which are treatable and not a cause for concern this video discusses some different causes of belly button bleeding what symptoms to look for and how to treat it infections numerous microorganisms naturally inhabit the surface of the skin the skin's microbiome helps support the immune system by protecting the body against potentially harmful foreign pathogens however disrupting this delicate ecosystem can lead to bacterial or fungal overgrowth bacteria including Staphylococcus and Streptococcus can cause a type of skin infection called cellulitis, an overgrowth of the Candidiasis fungus, which lives in the mouth, throat, and vagina, as well as on the skin, can cause yeast infections. Symptoms: The symptoms may vary depending on what organism caused the infection. Some general symptoms of an inf infection in the belly button include redness or skin discoloration in or around the belly button, itching or swelling of the affected skin, a tender mass that bleeds or releases a foul smelling discharge, fever or chills, nausea or vomiting. Diagnosis If a doctor suspects a skin infection, they may collect a sample of skin or pus from the belly button. A laboratory technician will then analyze the sample for different bacterial and fungal strains. A doctor can recommend the best treatment plan once they know the underlying cause of the infection. Cysts Cysts are fluid-filled pockets of tissue that can develop anywhere of the body, including the belly button. An epidermoid cyst occurs when a hair follicle gets clogged with dirt or oil. These cysts can also develop as a result of sun damage, infections or trauma to the skin. A cyst in or near the belly button may leak pulse or blood if it becomes infected. Urachal cysts, which are less common might also cause blood discharge from the belly button. The uracus is a tube-like structure that connects the umbilical cord to the bladder. The uracus usually disappears before birth. However, it can remain open in some people. According to the National Institutes of Health, uracil cysts can form at any point during a person's life. That said, they typically affect older children and adults. Symptoms Other symptoms of a cyst in or near the belly button include a movable mass underneath the skin, redness or skin discoloration, swelling, pain or tenderness, pain when urinating. Diagnosis A doctor can diagnose a skin cyst during a physical examination. They may ask to touch the cyst to see if it moves. A doctor can also check for symptoms that suggest an infection such as tenderness, swelling and fever. If the cyst has ruptured, they can collect a sample of the discharge from for analysis. If they suspect a urachal cyst, they may need to conduct a CT or ultrasound scan. Primary umbilical endometriosis. Endometriosis occurs when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus spreads to parts of the body outside of the uterus. Endometriosis affects at least 11% of females in the United States. According to the authors of a 2017 case report, Tissue spreads to the belly button in around 0.4 to 1% of females with endometriosis. Symptoms Endometriosis that involves the belly button can cause a dark reddish brown discharge. Other symptoms include nodules or growths under the skin, painful menstrual cramps, 
persistent pain in the lower back and pelvis, pain during bowel movements or urination, bloody stools or blood in the urine, pain during or after sex, diarrhea or constipation, abdominal bloating, nausea or vomiting, bleeding between menstrual periods. Diagnosis A doctor can diagnose endometriosis by conducting a pelvic exam and using imaging tests such as MRI scans and ultrasounds. If endometriosis is only located at the belly button, a biopsy of the abnormal tissue at that location would give a definitive diagnosis. Umphalitis Shortly after birth, a doctor will cut the umbilical cord, leaving a small section attached to the belly button. This is called the umbilical sturm. Typically, the umbilical sturm dries out and falls off after 5 to 15 days. The remaining wound will close and form the belly button. Parents and caregivers may notice blood coming from a newborn baby's umbilical sturm. Once the sturm falls off, the wound may bleed a little until the skin heals. However, omphalitis can occur if the belly button becomes infected. It is a rare condition with, with an incidence rate of just 0.7%. Symptoms Symptoms typically appear after 3 days and may include bleeding from the umbilical cord sturm, foul smelling drainage, lethargy, poor feeding, fever, irritability. Diagnosis To diagnose omphalitis, a doctor will perform a complete blood count test and collect a sample for analysis. If a newborn is experiencing symptoms that affect their entire body, a doctor may perform a chest radiograph and urinalysis. Pregnancy Pregnant women may experience belly button changes. The skin and muscles in the abdomen stretch as the uterus expands to accommodate the growing fetus. This expansion may stretch or tear the skin near the belly button. Bleeding from an outward facing belly button can occur if someone accidentally scratches it. Also wearing clothes that rub against the belly button can irritate the skin which can lead to redness, tenderness and bleeding. Pregnant women can prevent their belly buttons from bleeding or getting infected by keeping the area clean and dry, removing any belly button piercings, applying aloe vera gel to soothe irritated or sensitive skin. When to see a doctor? A person should contact a doctor if they experience any bleeding or bleeding in or around the belly button in addition to any of the following symptoms. Red, swollen skin that is painful or tender to the touch. Severe or persistent pain around the belly button. Fever, nausea, vomiting.